together where I'm being Svetlana in the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat this is our journey I hope you enjoy it and please like and subscribe Okay, so um, we took the boat to Meganesia, which is about half an hour away for uh, the winter storms, and we got there fine. And um, we ran the engine for maybe an hour while we were there to get hot water over a three day period. And we ran it to come back. And we probably used about half a pint of um, coolant. And as you can see here, we've got coolant in the bottom so that means that we do have a leak somewhere now I know that we've got a leak on this pipe here but whether that can actually leak half a pint of coolant I'm not sure and uh, so I wanted to run the engine and just check it I mean the good news is that it's coolant not seawater so that means that theoretically the end caps are good on the heat exchanger because that's seawater that come, would come out of there so I've got to investigate this and see see what's what okay I've checked all the hoses and the bilge is now dry to a point where literally I've cleaned it with a tissue paper to make sure it's absolutely dry with this hose because I know it's split I've put some red sealant on it. I've wrapped some tape around it and the tape's not going to do anything specifically other than hold the sealant in place while it cures. And I've put a new Jubilee clip on it there. Uh, and uh, when I finished that, there was a drop of water. And you can see, hopefully you can see now, there is a drop of water. It's just appeared. So, um, I'm hoping, given where it is, that it is coming from here but I'm still struggling to find any wet anything wet anything dripping so I need to keep an eye on it and see if I can work out where that drop is coming from where it's running from before I start the engine uh, so yeah, so I'm going to make a cup of tea and just sit and watch it. Well, I found it, but it's not where you think, because it's not at the front of the engine up here. It's actually here. And it's this pipe, which is the one that is on order. And it had split at the other end. It's obviously split at this end as well. And of course it's now getting too short to even... If I were to cut that back and try and press, fasten it on and it splits again, then the whole thing's just for nothing. And as I'm working on it, I'm actually making it worse. So... Uh, I think all I can really do is leave it for now and then um, when the pipe comes replace it but at least I now know where the leak is and what it is and it's not the uh, the fresh water the, the sea water system so yeah and of course what is it dripping on the electrics bloody marvellous Beautiful morning and we're getting the boat ready for lift out so I'm just lifting the gentleman on me to pass it to you. I said I would. So he's putting the dinghy on a bow out of the way. 
Alright, turn your hand. Don't turn the show off. <laughs> so, it's exactly two years. Yeah, since we launched in 2020. One year 2020. and 51 weeks. Yeah. Since we went back in the water. Yeah. So I've only um, booked for, for a month and I'm hoping to <clears throat> get everything done. I would all know the, the amount of work yet. Well, definitely anti fouling. Uh, I, I, we believe there's a bit of a um, rather a um, bit of a kill repair. Uh, do you want me to go? And then, uh, Just guard keep it. Around, yeah. yeah. Okay. Shall we swap? What? Shall we swap? No. You can't do this. Yeah. Is it heavy? Is it hard? Okay, keep going then. Wait a moment. Check this out. What? Take what out? The seat. Huh? Take the seat out. And the paddles are staying in? Yes. There are done. Oh. The wind's picking up again. Last time we lifted. Last time, <coughs> Last time we lifted. I had gusts blowing like hell as soon as we got there. It seems to be the same. It was very calm when we came here. Now the wind's picking up. With our luck. Right, shall we start the engine now? No, What else? I want, to, I want to basically leave the engine start to the very last minute. Why? Because of the lack of fluid. Right. What else are we doing? We're going to start with the winch. Windless. Apparently, my leaking. Calimera. I think I'll bring the I know. Oh, They've done it more than once.
I hesitate to ask. We're close to this other boat. He's got someone guiding him back. Inches, literally inches. Uh huh. Hi. This is our home for the next two to three weeks. <laughs> wow. We've got space to get down. We've we'll got so space close. to get down. Yeah. The bottom yard is packed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. They, the master, mm. how the master they. I know. The driving. Oh, right here. The boy, yeah. It's so easy. Look how close we are. Right side. Yeah. So, I'm going to inspect the bottom hole. Oh. I just felt hurt. The bed. Yeah. We pressure wash the board after yeah. that. We let it dry and then we we can speak. Uh, okay. What you need exactly. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was just saying that Antifal doesn't look too bad after for two years, does it? Yeah. Oh, it does need doing, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the the bow the bow is just gel coat.
Okay, so we lifted out yesterday, uh, but by the time we got it pressure washed and everything, that was the day gone. Uh, remember that wire that I reattached? Well, we've had an earth bonding issue. You can see here, the P bracket is pretty much shot. So the yard has uh, said they're gonna give me a quote to replace that. Uh, gonna make a new one in inox and stainless. Uh, but that means we've got an earth bonding issue inside. There's still no uh, conductivity between here and the anode, which is also pretty much shot. Um, now the propeller is obviously protected, but uh, yeah, we've got an issue. So um, that's something that we've got to deal with. But today's job is to deal with a through hole, which I'll show you in a second. So I don't know if you remember, but uh, when we were dealing with the uh, water leaks, uh, I saw that this pipe was leaking here and dripping down onto this seacock. And uh, yeah, this is the handle of that seacock. It's rusted through. So I was right, we definitely do need to change it. So that is today's job, is to get this pipe off and uh, get this seacock off so that we can get a replacement uh, and work from there. So I want to get it done now, as early as possible, because uh, we need to um, order one or anything like that, it could delay what we've got to do. Uh, and then, yeah, this is the only seacock that I can find that is uh, seized and needs to be dealt with. So, yeah, we'll work on that. Okay, so the through hole is out. I had to angle grind it out, of course. So I had to cut through it and then cut the bolt off. So this is the, the hole fitting itself. Uh, this is what's left of the seacock, which is frozen shut. And then this is the replacement. So uh, what I've got to do now is uh, this bit is the bit that goes through the hole. And uh, it sort of bolts in. So I've got to make sure that this hole is clear of the old sort of sycophlex before I start. Uh, so that's the next job is to sort of just uh, clean that up. Uh, and then once I've done that we can uh, we can sycophlex this in and bolt it down. And then uh, this is uh, what I'm using to to seal it, which is the 3200, uh, which is designed for above and below the water line, uh, and it's in white, so we should be good with that. So we'll give that a go. Uh, as I say, first things first, got to clean the ho clean the hole. <laughs> Now might be a good time to hit the thumbs up button if you could. Uh, it really helps the YouTube alg algorithm which in turn helps our channel and it doesn't cost anything so we would much appreciate it. Okay so I'll push it up through. It's It's got loads and loads of this 5200 on it. Um, 
I don't want to nip it up tight yet because um, I want the 5200 to cure and create a bond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put this 5200 down on the top and smoosh it down and then put the washer on it and once I've done that I'm going to let it cure before I tighten it uh, and that way the uh, 5200 becomes a seal as well at least that's the general idea so If I smoosh that in like that, then that should create a seal. And then what I'll do is I'll tighten the nut onto that once it's cured and then cover that in 5200. And then hopefully we should have a, a good seacock. Well, this 5200 is nasty stuff. So. so I'm just going to take that down finger tight. Yeah, that should do it. One of the things I really hate about being at the water on the hard is just what a mess the boat becomes. Um, I can't put the floor down because I need to finish this seacock, and I can't fasten the seacock in until the uh, 5200 cures, so that's got to stay like that. This has got to stay like this because they're trying to sort out this bonding issue on the P-bracket and replace the P-bracket. I started wire brushing this to see what the state of it is. And the wire brush, the battery on the drill has gone. So the drill is on charge, which also means I can't wire brush this. I've taken the anodes off, but I can't put the anodes back on because they've got to drop the shaft for this deep sea seal and because this corroded P-bracket needs to come off so that they can uh, replace it and work on this this is where the anchor has chipped a piece of gel coat out and I've uh, started grinding it out and all of a sudden found this void and uh, popped a blister and water came pouring out. When I, when I say pouring, I mean pouring. Uh, lots of water came out. And so this has got to dry uh, and I've got to chase this void back and fill it. Uh, but I can't do that until it's dried. So I guess the next job I can tackle is this where we scraped the keel here and here and uh, just try and get that shaped again so uh, yeah frustrating isn't it well that's it for another video guys thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you like what we're doing hit the subscribe button and notify so you'll get notified of our new videos uh, why not take a trip over to Kofi uh, or Patreon if you're on Patreon and you're a member you get to see them a little bit earlier but thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time